There must be some technical difficulties up on YouTube today. But I just wanted to say hey. Hold on, let me put my phone in the... Okay, there we go. Hey, I was trying to go earlier live today and I couldn't go because I was in the mall and the signal kept dropping because of YouTube and it dropped in my house, so I don't know. But um, I was just coming on to show you guys that, you know, you don't have to marry someone rich to have a really good life. You could be upper middle class like me. Um, I never said I was rich or that I was the most beautiful woman in the world, but I have helped a lot of women find rich men who are probably more beautiful than me. So I'm just here to give advice. I have pick me haters, you know, gossiping in other groups about me saying I'm middle class and average and I never claim to be rich nor have I claimed to be the most beautiful woman. Just because I act like it doesn't mean that I ever claimed it. Okay. Anyway, how are y'all today? So I just, I spent the whole morning shopping and I got a bunch of stuff. Uh, some of the stuff I got a couple days ago. So I'm going to show y'all my little middle, middle class haul since I'm so middle class. <laughs> um, I like this one because y'all know I read cards. I see coffee in your future. I got this at Charming Charlie. Isn't that cute? It's a little coffee mug. Uh, eh. Um, and they, I don't know, I got some bracelets too. So, yeah, you know, when you kick people out of your group, they want to be mad because they're still at the same place that they started. Meanwhile, other people are continually leveling up. Isn't this cute? It says star. You can put the charms on it, change the charms off. Um, yeah, you know. Oh, I also got this. Isn't this pretty? It's a cuff with these really pretty stones in it. <laughs> oh, my nails, they're like an ombre effect. The nail lady was like, can I do ombre on your nails? I'm like, I don't know. She, she said, oh, it, look, it will look good on you. I'm like, okay, I'll try it. So it's my first time um, trying ombre. But there's the bracelet. And this lady put some ashy looking foundation on my hand because I was, um, there was this lady selling makeup. And I was like, that is not, it doesn't look ashy on the camera, but it looks ashy in person. I'm like, that is not my color, goodbye. So that's how it looks, isn't it cute? Um, so I was trying to go live earlier today because a lot of the pick me chicks that I've kicked out of the group formed a pick me group and they're continually to talk mess about other girls in the group and, and, um, me and Mickey. But the whole thing is, you know, they're still single, broke, working, and they're talking about us. Okay. At least I don't have to, uh, ask anybody permission to pee. Okay, when I go somewhere, when I go to work, I can stay out, I can go shopping. I don't have to report to anybody, you know. And it's it's sad that, you know, want, when you um, try to be nice to people and actually help them, but they don't want to help themselves, they get really upset because they are not doing the work that they're supposed to do. They're not getting the type of results they're supposed to get. And, and they take it out on you and other girls who are. Why? I don't know. You know, if you don't want to change, don't join a group, okay? We're not gonna say, oh, you're perfect the way you are. Because obviously, it's not working for you if you can't get it, you know? Uh, so don't, don't try to join my group if you think you're gonna stay the exact same if you don't, if you're not having luck, you know? Either your mental is gonna change, or your physical is gonna change, or both. Um, so I also got this lip gloss from Charming Charlie. Um, I don't know, it's just like a pink color. <laughs> Thank you, I don't know. It's just a gloss, I just put some on. So, mm, it smells like candy, nice. So, you know, Tyler Perry lips, 
you, you need to stop talking about people because you're almost 50. You single, living in an apartment, can't, ha you know, talking about, talking trash about people. Okay, I don't think so. Maybe you should audition for the next Medea movie. You can play Medea when she was younger. How about that? Uh, <laughs> so, another, some more stuff from my middle age. I'm not middle age yet, but my middle middle class life. I went, I got some shoes today. And uh, let's show y'all what I got. I got some Tory Burch thong sandals. Aren't these cute? They're like this poppy orange color for the spring. It's gonna be really pretty. And I, I figured, I um, oh, they're really soft. So I got these, and they come with this little um, dust bag, I guess. Yeah, a little dust bag, and got those. And I also got, uh, let's see. I got some Ralph Lauren espadrilles for spring because y'all know it gets, it, spring comes early in Texas. So, you know, we'll be wearing skirts and shorts in like next month. So, um, getting ready. Yay. So these are like a navy blue. These will kind of match everything. You can wear them with short skirts, pants, whatever. Um, a little peep toe as well. And they're made out of like this satin looking, uh, what do you call it? Linen look material. So I got those. Then I got some more Tory Burch shoes. Uh, hang on to on. I'm trying to get on here so I can see that your questions. Where the heck is it? Um, and these are some really cute pink leather flat espadrilles. These are more casual. Um, you can wear them with pants, shorts, dresses. I don't know. Um, thought it would be cute. So I bought these. They had black and then they had like a navy blue, but I thought pink would be cute for spring. And plus they're um, a feminine color. So I wanted to wear it with some of the stuff that I already have. It's pink. I, I never know what shoes to wear with pink. I mean, you can either wear black, white, gold or something. But um, yeah, so a lot of women say you know oh, i want a rich man i want a rich man but middle class upper middle class is good because you can still shop you can still drive a luxury car you don't have to work so it's basically the same except instead of buying maybe um instead of buying a bunch of super expensive brands like um armani versace uh and stuff like that, you, you get to buy Tory Burch and Ralph Lauren. Besides, you know, the neighborhood that I live in, the suburbs and the soccer moms over here, they, they all dress in J. Crew, um, like Gap, Polo. They don't wear Versace, they don't wear red bottoms. That's for like the flashy people who didn't really come from a lot and they're trying to flash. So I can't really flash if I wanted to because I would look out of place like and weird so this is what we housewives and suburbia you know wear this type of stuff and it's cool that uh i'm trying to pull y'all up it's cool that people think that i'm supposed to be all fancy and and stuff like that bitch just because i can give advice my advice will work for anybody it will work for dusty's it will work for blue collar. It will work for white collar. It will work for middle, upper middle class, rich, up into millionaire. It will work for anyone. You just have to make it work for you. And you can't skip any of the, you know, advice and put your own two cents in there if, if you were doing that and it wasn't working for you before. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's so funny that as soon as you 
um, you know, someone gets upset, they want to go and create a group or get another group to talk trash about me. But I'm the very reason you're there. I'm the very reason you're upset. I'm the very reason you're mad. I'm the very reason you still single. I'm that reason. I'm the reason because obviously I'm doing something you're not. Okay. <laughs> I don't get excited holding a credit card. I get excited using a credit card, okay? I don't get excited by uh, being in denial either. You know, some people are just in denial and they don't like, you know, seeing other people pass them by. And I don't think that, oh, I got a shirt too. I got a true religion shirt and it has like sparkly letters. I wear this with some jeans and a coat or jacket or whatever. Uh, so, you know, I got some more stuff to you. So I can't really, I can't be mad at people for being mad at me because I would be mad at me too if I was them, okay? So I ain't even mad at y'all. I mean, if I were y'all, I'd be mad too. I'd be talking trash too. Especially if I look like Tyler, Mary, Tyler Perry from the, from the nose down. <laughs> Um, so I went to J. Crew and I got me this really cute military style uh jacket it's because you know I don't, it's not sometimes it's not super cold, but it's not you know warm either. So you need a jacket. So this is a really nice one, it's a really strong material and it has like the gold hardware buttons. So this was nice. Um, and it's not lined or anything, but it's not supposed to be a heavy coat or anything. It's, it's cute with jeans and a, and a shirt and boots or something for the for the winter or fall. Uh, I also got this J. Crew skirt. And it's really cute. It's just a little black mini skirt. You can wear this with anything. It's stretchy and it has like this ruched waistband. You can wear it with tights or no tights, and you can wear it, dress it up or dress it down. That's from J. Crew. And then I got some socks, because y'all know. Um, you, they always have cute socks. So I have these, some of these already, but I, I bought a second pair. These are some little paisleys, and these are some little kisses. Aren't those cute? So I got that. And then I went to... um. New York and company and I got this really cute dress it's like I don't know I guess it's called a wiggle dress or something but it comes down it's knee length and it's I know I always say try to wear solid colors and stuff but this was so pretty the print and it was just so ornate I thought it was beautiful look at that so I'm gonna look good in it anyway <laughs> um I just loved the color uh, combination and with some cute heels it's gonna be cute because I'm, I'm going out this weekend with James and Mickey and we'll see I might wear that <laughs> uh, I have a bunch of body bath and body work stuff but I ain't gonna show y'all that it's a bunch of it's old anyway so let's see if I can answer some questions now <laughs> uh, so yeah my average middle life self I mean middle life my average middle class self is happy um, I also went and got a protein box from a Starbucks it's a smoked turkey protein box this is my lunch and I got, um, what's, what you call this? A ice cold brew mocha with almond milk. Oh, and my favorite pins. Got those from 99 cents only. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh. 
Oh, Shira, I met a 40 year old who said he always meets a, the strong, independent black woman and he would like, he would love a woman who doesn't work and take care of, to take care of the kids. You were right. Yeah. Awesome. You got a good one. Thank you. Um, you seen that at the store last night? The floral print dress. Thank you. Uh -huh. Well, you know, when they gossip about the group, I just watched, I just saw a comment about they hate seeing those posts that talk bad about me. The more they gossip about me, I get about 10 people in my inbox trying to join the group from the, from probably that group and they have to pay. So I'm still get paid. Tell them they're just advertising for me. It's like all publicity is good publicity. Okay. <laughs> so tell them, keep talking. Keep on talking. They just gonna come right over to me. And <laughs> y'all, you supplying, you know, you supplying some uh some you're you're dishing out hate, but I'm getting back cash. So keep it moving, keep it coming. <laughs> See, I, I set it up that way to where if you're gonna talk trash about me, I'm still gonna profit off of it. Hmm. When someone talks trash about you, you can't make no money. None. <laughs> uh, um. Thank you. Were these ex members weird to talk about you if they were once following you? Um. They. Okay. This is what happens when people get in the group. They some things they don't want to change. They 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 get stuck. Okay, when we recommend a change and they don't want to change it, they stay stuck. When they watch all the other chicks change and, and do what they are, you know, best um, representing themselves as, you know, like, for ex example, if we suggest a certain makeup look or a certain hair look or a certain whatever, they'll go ahead and do it and upgrade themselves and start getting results. Some girls think that they're God's gift to women and men and whatever and they don't change they don't want to change a lot okay they just want to put some mascara and some gloss on and think that's it and they get stuck because they're not doing anything that we suggest they're just in there stuck and they watch everybody get paid everybody go on trips everybody get nice gifts and that festers inside of them and they get super upset because they think they were already leveled up but they weren't Okay, they think they were ready for the gold digging group, but they were really ready for the level up group. But we didn't have the level up group back then. So they were they had enough time to level up, but they wouldn't. Okay, and so they would get mad and really and, and the posts would start coming with sarcasm behind it. Like, um, you know, that you could tell like weeks in advance that they were getting frustrated by their posts. And you know, we would try to help them, but they would resent our input and other girls' inputs and just fix that their way was the correct way. But they still couldn't get anywhere, you know? So they got really upset, made some crazy rant post, wanted to argue back and forth, and then I kicked them out. And I did give them like three chances like, I wasn't trying to argue back. I was just like, okay, well, you know, put this on your own page. You don't need to put this in the group. Blah, 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 blah. And they wanted a confrontation. So I said, okay. Y'all want y'all want some of this? Come on. Okay. But the whole point is, I don't like to do that. I'm trying to help women. Okay? If y'all don't like to listen in the group, the pick the, the secret pick in the group that can't get out of pick -me's, I can't I can't do anything about it you know it's just like someone going to school and they don't want to do the work <laughs> and you don't have yeah someone says they're not in my group but they learn a lot from me yeah you don't have to join my group if you don't want to you know that's why I make the videos I had the videos way before the group um, the group is just 
hands-on you have more access to me and other women who are like-minded and are working towards the same goal so when you have a bunch of like-minded people working towards the same goal you can reach it faster okay but you if you have a couple of stragglers who are hanging out you know not trying to work with the team or do what is necessary to be successful at what you're trying to do you know they're going to turn on you and get mad and they're going to get mad at all the other people who are successful that's just how it always is and sadly you know they could have they could have succeeded but they just don't want to listen you know it's that independent woman you know pick me syndrome that they can't you know hide it just in them so it just doesn't work you know the lifestyle is not for everybody and it won't work for everybody if they won't put themselves on the right mindset what do you think the dating market is going to look like at when your daughters grow up oh um hopefully it will look a lot better than it looks now because the future, you know, the future, I feel everyone knows that they're going to need money to, ha to have a decent life in the future. So hopefully people will put more focus on their education, uh, what they do for a living, and the people that they date. Mm -hmm. And... You know, Shira make money off pick me. Everyone is using it now. Huh? Oh, well, that's, you know, I heard pick me from somebody else. So I didn't invent that. I just kind of made it popular, like talking about it so much, I guess. <laughs> so, so yeah, I tried to go live earlier in the mall, but I guess this, the the roof of the mall was like blocking the signal. So I just said, I'll do it when I get back home. Um, but yeah, middle class life is just fine. Upper middle class, actually. Because if, if we were middle class, we'd be in a different tax bracket. So, you know, we pay that upper, upper middle class tax. So, um, fine with me. I got everything I want. <laughs> You know, and it's not really an insult because they were calling me, oh, average and middle class. That's not an insult because y'all are still at poverty level. The the chicks that were talking about me, y'all still at poverty level. <laughs> y'all are still at poverty level. And there's nothing wrong with being at poverty level, but it is something wrong with being at poverty level if you're trying to talk trash about somebody who's middle class. That just makes no sense. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, okay. They want to be jealous. They're still talking about me. It's been three, four days since they've been gone. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't care, you know. It's funny because... Was it females? Yes, of course it was females. Men don't, well, most men don't sit around talking about people. That's that's women. Most men don't get jealous of women unless they want to be women. But women always get jealous of women. Um, <clears throat> when they, they feel like it's a competition or something. I don't know. <laughs> a lot of middle class people are actually broke. I'd rather be upper middle class or above that. Yeah, see? You know, we're, I mean, we could be, we, yeah, uh, upper middle class, and then there's what, the rich, and then there's the wealthy. So I'm not rich. Like, I can't just be irresponsible with money. I'm upper middle class. That means I could buy whatever I want in my um, budget. I don't know, however you want to say it. But I can still have nice things. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can still get 
the the nicest things but you can't get the ridiculously expensive things you know you can't buy an escada dress for four thousand dollars you got to go to like banana republic or uh Saks or neiman's or uh new york and company or uh, something like that you can't go get you a four thousand dollar dress you can get you a hundred dollar dress a two hundred dollar dress if you if you want to you know look better than you look in the one hundred dollar dress but you can't go get the four thousand dollar dress okay <laughs> and most of the people that are talking trash can't even get the one hundred dollar dress okay <clears throat> and hi and i never like to talk about what i have <clears throat> because it doesn't matter it don't matter what I have there's girls in the group that look way better than me drive nicer cars than me date richer men than I dated will probably marry a richer man than I married but I don't care I'm happy I got what I want I'm just trying to help other people you know maybe a couple years ago or a year ago they didn't have any of that maybe they were working so I'm happy that I can get a woman to realize her worth so that she can go and do better than me you know that's what we should want we should want to push the younger ones further you know and <clears throat> especially if they have what it takes it doesn't bother me and you know one of the girls in the group she's really pretty there's not just one but there's about a, a cup a handful of women who are really you know dating high 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 you know paid people and <clears throat> they're very pretty and i think one of the pick me chicks got upset because she thinks she's on that level but she does not she was nowhere near that level none she wasn't even close to that level and i think she thought she was that's she was delusional in that way as well <clears throat> she thought she was like cute but you know she was not really cute she was just okay you know she was average and she thought if she had put on some more makeup, she might have been, she might have went from a, a seven to a 10. She, she might've been a good seven, but if she would have put the makeup on right, she would have been a 10, but she was fighting that makeup child. She was like, I don't need no makeup. I'm gonna look like a treasure troll with Tyler Perry lips and I'm gonna get what I want. But she still didn't get it. <clears throat> Okay, if you want the lifestyle of those females, um, I, I don't want to say their names or anything in our group. Well, not your group anymore, but in my group, you should have put some more makeup on. Okay, that was the only difference between you and them was your hair and your makeup. You could have went from a seven to a ten. You could have went to a seven to a ten. Okay. <laughs> right. I was trying. Who are you helping by talking about this crap? I'm helping you, Green Sloth. I'm helping you find something to do with all your free time because you should be at work. <laughs> He's a troll, y'all. Right? So, <clears throat> and I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to tell y'all what to do and what not to do. I'm just giving advice. And if you take it, you take it. It might help you. If you don't, it's definitely not going to help you. Mm. Some women overdo the makeup, of course, but she underdid the makeup. Like, <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying she could have she could have been up there if she just put something else on. You know, it was like that's it. You done? <laughs> um, why upper middle class? Why didn't you go for a millionaire? Um, but because I was I was dating James and I was 22. Okay, um, 
and he he really liked me a lot and he was giving me everything I dated millionaires but they weren't giving me everything there's millionaires that not gonna give you everything there's like there's millionaires you can date but they're not gonna say hey let me pay for everything you know they'll just think oh you're lucky to be with me because I'm a millionaire they'll take you to nice places they might buy you a gift or two but they're not giving out money like James was okay James was like where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Okay, this, this, and that. Here, let's go take you shopping. Let's go buy you clothes. James was a real sugar daddy, okay? More, you, will, you will see that most sugar daddies who are the most generous are not the millionaires, okay? They're the upper middle class guys who have way too much money to spend on themselves, okay? <clears throat> he was just happy to have somebody by his side that looked good, and he was willing to pay... Uh, my bills buy me a car you know um, take me shopping get whatever I wanted and while he was at work I just go shop so that's why I went for James instead of a millionaire because if I was with a millionaire oh you can't live with me because you know they got too many secrets they want to control more um, if you live with them and I know they weren't going to give me their credit card, okay? So, I picked James because James was the most generous. <laughs> um, do you laugh at his jokes even when they're not funny? James, um, well, he has a weird sense of humor. So, I hardly ever laughed at his jokes. But... I would tell him that that was funny. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't have to be rich to help you get rich, okay? I don't have to be beautiful to help you get beautiful, okay? I don't have to be anything to help you get it because I'm probably um, not the same age as most of you you know I might be older than most of you younger than some of you but hey when I was 21 and 22 I definitely was getting mine okay <laughs> how many how many 21 and 22 year olds in the group and right now can you say is getting every bill paid for a car bought for them don't have to work living in a nice uh, place fully taken care of school paid for how many, how many 22 year olds can you say that for? Getting shopping money, you know, spending money, shopping money, don't have to work. Not a lot, okay? Now, that's why I chose the upper middle class life because it's just as accessible as, you know, a rich or a millionaire life except you can't buy Bentley's you got to buy Benz okay I can't get a Bentley but I got a Benz okay I can't get um <clears throat> I can't get a Scotta but I can get Ralph Lauren okay so it's fine with me I don't care I still look good <laughs> my kids can get what they want too it's not just me they get to live the life too So, and when they grow up, their standards are already going to be high. They're not even going to take the half the crap that some of these pick is taking. They're going to be like, mm-mm, I don't wear that crap. Mm-mm, don't come over here with that. Mm-mm, I don't date jailbirds. Mm-mm, I just don't, I don't want to just hold your credit card. I want to spend it. <laughs> this car is not, okay, your car is not impressive to me. My daddy drive that car. I thought that's how my children probably going to be. <clears throat> They're not going to be like these pick me's out here, man. They're going to know how to do full makeup. Sasha already know how to contour. And she's only nine. She doesn't wear makeup. But when she plays in it, she's like. Because she watches me every day. She's like, mama, my contour? <laughs> so she already know all that. And it's, it's, it's funny. It's so cute, though. Um, Sasha's really good at makeup, actually, because she's a really good artist. She draws really well. And Layla, she needs some work. 
<laughs> Layla needs some work on her eye makeup. She be putting blue eyeshadow on her cheek. I'm like, that's not where it go, Layla. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So if like if y'all are trying to you know meet guys, upper middle class is fine. Y'all don't have to meet anybody millionaireish, millionaireish, because they spend actually more than probably the millionaire would. A lot of millionaires, they, um, a lot of their money is invested in, um, you know, upper middle class. They make a lot of money, but don't have, if they're single, they don't have anybody to spend it on. Guess what? Here you come. <laughs> so this woman knows nothing about investing. I've already invested. How you know I don't have investments? I tell y'all, I don't tell y'all everything, troll dude. I have many investments. But I'm not telling you about it. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't be spending like this if I didn't have investments. Okay, this is my money that I can throw in the trash. Basically, this is just trash. This is money I can spend with no problem. You know, I have money invested, making money. You know, I have savings, money market accounts, real estate investments, all that kind of stuff. Me, in my name, not Jane. Me. So guess what? <laughs> and all that is going to go to Layla and Sasha when I die. Their daddy's money is going to go to me. My money is going to go to them. And I will be able to give them, you know, a really good lifestyle, even if they don't meet somebody that can take care of them. We will take care of them, okay? Because... That's what it's all about. When you choose a certain type of man to date, you're choosing a lifestyle and a legacy to leave to your children. So cute, don't leave a legacy. It don't leave any money. It doesn't leave any um, investments. It don't leave none of that. Um, <clears throat> jailbirds don't leave a legacy. Uh so, Dusty's don't leave a, a legacy at all, okay? So, what I'm saying is, if you're not finding millionaires, if you're not meeting the richest men, it doesn't matter. Go for somebody middle class and upper middle class. You're still going to have a really good lifestyle, okay? So, I mean... Choose your man based on wealth. Correct. <laughs> like me, Mickey, and James, and we're going to go out this weekend again. I might film it. I'm going to go have a good old time, have fun, whatever. Enjoy life. You want to be a part of one of the groups? I'm level up beyond the level up group. I don't want a sugar daddy. And just okay i'm about to start a wife's group on the 20 25th of january i'm going to start my wife group the housewife group not the regular wife group but the housewife group the group where you don't have to work when you get married <laughs> um <clears throat> you know Choose intelligence over muscles. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, hi, I'm joining that for sure. Okay. Well, y'all know I'm going to make a formal announcement when I do open it. Because y'all know. We got the level up group for ladies that are starting from, you know, trying to learn how to improve themselves to attract better men. Then we have the gold digging group, which are women who are already at that level to attract, you know, wealthier men. And, you know, they share their stories and techniques and get advice and stuff like that. Now I'm going to have the housewife group. And then, you know, help women who really want to get married. It's different. The whole game is different when you want to get married. <laughs> you got, it's more, it's more ruthless, actually. <laughs> There's more lying involved. <laughs> more acting. 
Yes, more, more, more of it. <laughs> Very strategic. If you can't, okay, wife, becoming a housewife is very strategic. You can't skip, you can't skip and pick what you want to, uh, the advice you want to take, okay? Because it is what it is. <laughs> and I'm going to have other wives in there too who are housewives, who don't work. I'm going to try to find some and have them in the group too. So you just won't be getting my perspective, you'll be getting other people's perspective so if you're a housewife and your life is awesome and you don't have to work and your husband does whatever you want inbox me and I'll let you in uh, to help out in the group if you want to give advice or whatever uh -huh. <laughs> some of you have already written and told me about your husbands <laughs> my husband do this and that and look, I don't mind if you have more money than me. I don't mind if y'all's lifestyle is 20 times better than mine. Come on, join. I don't care. You know what? We all happy. Okay? We're all happy here. <laughs> because, okay, here's, here's the deal. If I lived in a neighborhood full of mansions, I would have to dress accordingly. Right? I would have to wear the designer clothing. I would have to have, you know, the best of everything because that's everybody else has. And... You don't want to look like you don't have nothing and you're struggling and barely making a mortgage, right? But it, when you live in a neighborhood like mine, which is just like a really nice suburban area, the houses are nice, but not everybody is, you know, millionaires, you know? So you just dress very casual, but nice, you know? Now, if I move to a neighborhood lower than mine, you know, I, I, I can, instead of going to Ralph Lauren, I go to Old Navy. I can go, I can go to, um, you know, <laughs> I still go to Old Navy, but you know what I mean. You could, you don't have to, you don't have to do as much when you don't live in a certain area. So if I'm lit, like if I get a mansion in two years, y'all gonna see the clothes change too. You gotta upgrade as you level up, you know, this might not be it for me. Okay. Just cause I'm upper middle class now doesn't mean I will be in the next five years so you never know <laughs> but this is where I am now and I'm happy and I'm thriving James is thriving so kids are thriving so it can only get better from here <laughs> I can only get better from here so it's only gonna get better I would make sure that he can afford a nice house and a good school district. If you want to live in a trendy urban area, you have kids. You are, you know, me and James used to live downtown in a high rise in a trendy urban. Well, we used to, yeah, midtown in a high rise, and it was very trendy. Like a rapper lived in our building. We had like, you know, old old money in our building who didn't want to go to the old folks' home, so they got a high rise, or you know, those senior living centers. They didn't want to go to one, so they just bought a high rise. Um, it overlooked the entire city. So at night you would see like the skyline. It was really beautiful. But when I got pregnant, I was like, we can't raise a kid here. We need to move out to the suburbs. And we was like, he did not want to move to the suburbs. But I was like, well, this is a bad school district or it's not the best school district. The best school district is, you know, over here. So I got him excited by looking, going to look at houses online first i was like oh look at this house oh you know it's cheaper than what we're paying in rent oh really you know get them all interested then we went to go look at it and he was like this is it this is it you know um this was our first house and when i was pregnant with layla so it was a nice house but then he saw nicer houses and he's like i want that house and then we moved into that house and then we sold that house and went to another house and well we were having this house built so we had this house built then we moved in so we kind of got to design this house for the most part but the point of the story is you just keep leveling up you know until you are where you end up <laughs> We used to have a house on the lake. I mean, not a house, a condo on the lake. 
Then we moved downtown. And it, I mean, it was very nice. I, I got to do all the stuff that I always wanted to do. Like when I was young, I was like, I want to live in a high rise downtown. I did that. So I did everything I wanted to do in my youth. I did all of that. I, you know, we went on vacation. I didn't have to work. Um, we lived near the, oh, near the beach. We went on boat rides all the time. Um, so it was a fun life. And then after we got married and had kids, we had already done everything, done everything. So we were, we were happy just to be able to sit back and enjoy our kids, you know? <laughs> and it feels really good when your kid can have everything they want. I got pregnant. I was 27, 26 or 27, but I was married. So, um, I got pregnant one year after I married James. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then I had Sasha the next year after I had Layla. I'm like back to back. Back to back. Okay. Love doesn't mean anything to us unless it's love for our children. Ha ha ha. No, not me anyway. Maybe to the younger chicks, maybe. <laughs> because it, it's dumb to base marriage on love only. It's dumb because you need more than that. You don't just say, oh, love is going to pay our bills, buy cars, you know, pay for hospital bills and kids. Love don't pay for none of that. Money does, okay? <laughs> if love could pay for that, maybe people would value it more when they got married because men don't value love they value looks and sex okay so don't be mad at us because we value money <clears throat> over love some most of the time mm <laughs> and and I, I'm not trying to talk about money because it's it's a necessity. Everybody needs money to live. Everywhere you go, people are asking you to pay for something. So, you know, I can understand if everywhere I went, people were telling me, I love you. I love you. Yes. I love you too. Oh, can I have this dress? Sure. I love you. Take it. No, it's like, hi, that'll be a hundred and something dollars. Oh, okay. You can't buy nothing with love, okay? <laughs> oh, groceries. Go to the grocery store. Try to pay with love. Don't work. <laughs> Why do we have to be honest and dumb? You don't have to be honest, but play dumb. <laughs> don't be honest and play dumb. <laughs> That way they still think you're the same person except now you have a strategy money can't buy money can't buy love of course it can't nobody's trying to buy love <laughs> you can buy stuff though <laughs> who's trying to buy love i don't know anybody that's trying to buy love <laughs> Oh, they're just mad because they ain't got no money. <laughs> I need a man to pay for my bills. I'm over being masculine and attracting attracting feminine men. I want to look cute all day. <laughs> so, what about getting... Yeah. So... What the heck? <laughs> um, if you you can book a private consultation if you go to my channel page on YouTube and click on the Facebook um, button on my channel art. It's gonna be like right there. 
and just message me in my inbox on Facebook. Yeah. So, time is. She wrote, can you describe different types of housewives? Because I'm confused. Housewife? <clears throat> well, it just depends on what type of man you marry. There are some husbands that like housewives to be um, a certain way. Like, some guys want someone to cook and clean. Some guys don't care. Uh, some guys just want you to look good. And, you know, be home when they get home. Or, you know, they just they just get tired of living by themselves and they want something permanent that they can call their wife so they can go to work and brag, oh, yeah, my wife this and my wife that. And when they go to company functions and parties and, you know, they got wives and kids and they can bring them, you know, to the charity events and sporting events and da-da-da-da, you know. Because sometimes their friends and uh, their peers and, and co-workers, you know, they talking about their wife and kids and guys start to feel like they're missing something. So then they say, hey, maybe I should get married. You know, that's when they start looking for that housewife. And the better she looks, the better he, uh, he looks. The more she does, like at home, as far as food and stuff like that, um, decorating making his bachelor pad or making the house look really hospitable and things like that it just makes him feel more cared for and that he has someone to come home to you know because some guys get tired of you know after a while sleeping with everybody or not you know not being um getting lucky or having to pay and start over with these women because you know he's leading them on and so one day a man will just say, hey, I'm ready to settle down and let's do this. So he'll pick the one that he thinks is, he's going to be attracted to for the longest. If he's not, if he's not a dusty, he's going to pick the one that he really is attracted to the longest. If he has money, he's going to pick his type. Okay. So if your man has money, you are his type. Okay. If your man don't have money, you not his type. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Before you get married, make sure your man has money. That way you know you're his type and he's not going to be trying to upgrade you. Um, and also, if he's older, he's less likely to upgrade on you because you're always be younger than him. Mm -hmm. How can I find an upper middle class man that can take care of me on classy dates? Okay, well, you know, they're everywhere. Go sh where they shop, go where they hang out. You know, they eat good food. They don't eat trash food. Um, so nice restaurants, upper 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 scale bars, um, you know, probably gonna be at some networking events or you'll see them, you'll recognize them because they'll be dressed nice but not like super nice, but professional. Most likely they'll have a job, a high corporate career or something like that, or a business owner. So business casual look. Shira, can plus size women use these tips or do we have to do even more? I mean, what do you consider plus size? Because some people consider plus size, size eight and up, especially you know but I mean I got married when I was plus size when I, I'm still plus size but I got married so I, I think if you look good you're confident you look better than the man it's fine it works don't go and try to get someone that looks better than you or equal to you I always say go get someone that you look better than even plus sized okay <laughs> that way you know it's a, it's for sure so, for example, if I was plus size and I was like, hey, I don't want to work. I want to live a, a good life. I want my kids to have a good life when I have a kid or kids. 
let me go get an older guy who doesn't mind a few extra pounds because you know it's nothing you know uh, and, mo and most of the time they don't even think you're fat they're like you look good to me they, they like you they like curves in the right places some of them not all of them but some of them so that's what I say you know he, he was fine with it oh, who cares <laughs> Sophia says size 24 um well plus size is from I guess if you go to the plus size store it's from what 14 and up so you're you would have to you would have to target someone who requests a bigger woman you know what I mean um, or a bigger man, someone who's big, because they're less likely to care. You know, if you get a plus size man who's rich and, you know, he's bigger compared to you, I don't really think it would matter, you know? Uh, plus he would probably feel more comfortable around you. You never know. So if I was your size, I would aim for, um, plus size men who also had money. You know make them feel comfortable and because a lot of plus size men who have money they might try to date a skinny sugar sugar baby or a chick but they might not feel comfortable around her you know you know what i'm saying like eating or you know sexually they might not feel comfortable around her so he they're not going to get as much in return so they might you know they might be looking for someone more plus okay mm -hmm. so she were just cooking and cleaning for a provider husband make you a pick me i don't think so because if you like to do that kind of stuff then it's great you know um, I used to cook a lot because I went to culinary school. Um, I didn't really clean too much. I let other people do that. <laughs> but it doesn't make you a pick me chick unless you're not married to them. Then you're a pick me chick. Okay. Uh, so cooking, especially if you have kids, you got to cook. If you don't, if you can't afford to eat out every day and go to restaurants, you got to cook. Or if you don't want to go out and eat every day, you cook. It doesn't make you a pick me if you're married and your husband's paying for everything. But, you know, you can cut out some of that extra work if you hire a maid or a cleaning service. Help she when my boyfriend is broke, but I love him. I don't know what to do. Um, I would say keep loving him and keep living. And eventually, one is going to outweigh the other. The brokenness is going to outweigh the love. But you stay there until it does, or else you'll never get over him. So stay there until the brokenness outweighs the love. And when you're over that, when that love, you know, goes away, and that brokenness is everywhere, then that's when you leave. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I was in a relationship like that when I was 17, 18 years old. I loved this guy and he was a bum. He was a dusty. And I loved him. 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 But he was broke, 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 broke. And eventually the brokenness became bigger than the love. And I left. <laughs> So, some of these dudes don't think they're ugly. Jay-Z said it best. No such thing as an ugly millionaire. <laughs> it's not. She wrote, I feel like I've made my boyfriend comfortable. How can I make him keep chasing me? Less texting. Less talking on the phone. Less communication. Stay busy. Okay. Let him get your attention. Mm -hmm. 
you have to avoid people if you want them to miss you, basically. You know. Y'all know I'm up here on these five-hour videos, two-hour videos, one-hour videos. You don't think James missed me? <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, let's go out. Let's go out this weekend. You know, let's go do something. Is it better to be focused on becoming a wealthy housewife or just good digging multiple guys? It depends on how old you are and what you want for your life. You know, when I was young, I might have gold digged on a few dudes when I was young. And then I, I was like, you know, I was already t tired of it. So I was like, well, I'm just going to find me someone that's going to be a permanent sugar daddy. And then I'm going to get married. So that's what I did. It's like, James, James seems like a good candidate. He, he was, he was, um, you know, a tech geek, very straight and narrow. Um, didn't, had no drama. Worshipped the ground I walked on. So he was the best candidate for marriage. You know, uh, I didn't have to worry about most of the stuff that you have to worry about when you get married to someone your own age who looks better or the same as you and, you know, likes to go out party and drink and stuff. But it was, it was just the perfect combination. <laughs> Why aren't they chasing? Uh, you have to be smart, okay? Someone says she has game. It's so easy. You just pick the best candidate, okay? It's just like hiring for a job. You're not going to hire someone that parties, that goes out, who's a womanizer, who you can't depend on. You're not going to hire somebody like that for your job or to run your company. You need to hire somebody dependable, someone... Um, you know, that seems trustworthy enough, uh, someone that is going to respect you and remain humble, uh, someone who is going to do the most for the least, and someone who has potential to grow even further in the company. That's what you want to hire. Y'all are hiring people that have had bad track records, probably won't show up to work. You know, y'all are hiring people in marriages or in relationships that wouldn't even be hired on a job. Okay, y'all are taking on men who can't even get hired on a job. That means a job has more requirements than you do. A company has more requirements to accept someone to work for them than you do to have someone sleep with you, be around your kids or make kids with and spend the rest of your life with. So when you decide to be with someone, you need to treat it just like you're hiring for your company. This is your life. This is your company. You are the CEO of your company. You're going to hire a partner, a business partner or a CEO. Okay. And they need to be able to run the business, operate the business, be responsible, show up on time. Don't flake out, you know, dependable, most, you know, trustworthy as trustworthy as can get good, clean, black background check, you know, know what they're doing. And there, that's your husband. Okay. You don't go for the cutest man just because he looked good in a suit, but he don't know anything, no experience, nothing. You know, you don't go for the smoothest talking man, but every job he had was uh, over in two weeks. You got to be smart. You don't go on how he makes you feel. You go on what he can do. Gotta go on what he can do. Do you think 22 is too young to get married? If he's rich, no. If he's poor, yes. If he's average, yes. Wait till you're at least 25. Or 26. But Beyonce looked better than Jay-Z. He still cheated on her because he's rich. And he had always, you know, if you're on tour and you're a celebrity and you're away from your spouse a lot, you're going to cheat, you know? If Jay-Z was an upper middle class man with a, <clears throat> a corporate job and he came home to her every night, he would be less likely to cheat. He's a millionaire who's always on tour, got women throwing themselves at him because he's rich, more likely to cheat. 
you know. <clears throat> and besides, he probably figured either A, she would never find out. B, she would forgive him because they have too much invested in each other. And C, he can blame it on, you know, something and make it sound good, you know. <laughs> but if Jay-Z was broke... Okay, not many women would want him. Let's just let's just keep it real. Not many women would want him. Okay. If he was average, had a decent job, you know, not many women would want him, except maybe a pick me. If he was rich, upper middle class, you know, somebody might want him. And he probably wouldn't try to mess it up by cheating. Because he could lose half of his upper middle classness through a divorce. So it's all about convenience and the ability to do so, you know. Also, whatever's presented to him, you know. <laughs> but you know, with them, they if they stay together, they'll they'll probably be billionaires, so their marriage is not based on love. It's based on money. It's a business deal, which most marriages are. I mean, if I was married to Jay-Z and he cheated on me, I wouldn't leave. Mm -mm. Y'all remember that song she made? She gonna be rocking chinchilla coats? No. You ain't gonna do all... You, it's not, no one is gonna come in and reap everything that I've built. Oh, no. You know. I'm staying here. We're going to hit billionaire status. I'm going to be the first female entertainment billionaire besides Oprah. I'm going to be in the music industry. And I'm using you so I can do it, basically. <laughs> Kobe's wife was right by his side. Yeah. <laughs> But you would divide your entire fortune in half with Jay-Z and Beyonce. They both need the other one. Yeah, I wouldn't divide anything. I'm like, okay, go ahead. I don't care if you cheat. Just don't come try to sleep with me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Any wife that cheats, any, any husband that cheats, going to have to pay the price eventually. Like, either with gifts money humility something mm -hmm. most women are not going to rush to divorce a billionaire or a millionaire they're going to try to make it work like pick me's due to broke men except they're getting paid <laughs> rich men sex energy is amazing okay I can't believe Beyonce had two more kids with him after he cheated. That's more money. Shoot, if they split up three kids, oh, he's going to be paying three child supports. <laughs> She's smart. <laughs> and they pro he probably didn't sign no prenup, which is probably why he begging, make, making that album. I'm sorry. <laughs> so he had he really had to humble himself because she could have took everything so anyway <laughs> the whole the whole point of the video is you can still live a good life you don't have to be rich you can be average upper middle class whatever you know if if you're just regular old middle class and you can go shop your heart away at target and old navy and you know all the the stores that most people shop at get everything you want get your kids everything they want in, in your all's budget have a nice house drive a nice car that works you know don't really have to work then you're happy you're good too you know you don't have to have the best of everything to be happy. You just have to be able to have what you want when you want it without any struggle. 
So if you're, you know, if you're saying, well, I don't think I can get a millionaire or upper middle class, just maybe a regular middle class, then go for that. You know, as long as you can do what you want to do in that lifestyle and you're happy and satisfied with it, then go for it. You know, I don't think that anybody, you know, if, if I didn't marry a millionaire, I'm not telling you to marry a millionaire. I'm saying go get what you can get. <laughs> right? And who's to say James won't become a millionaire? You never know. Who's to say I won't become a millionaire? You never know. Okay. <laughs> I could become a millionaire. Y'all don't know. <laughs> I don't tell y'all everything. I don't tell y'all everything. <laughs> y'all, what it like? I could become a millionaire. Y'all don't know. What if some? What if somebody sees me and wants me on their national syndicated television show? Somebody sees me on YouTube and says. I saw this crazy lady on YouTube. I want to I want to have her on my show. You know. What if somebody said, "Hey, can I feature a sound clip or a sound bite in my song?" Cuz I watch your videos. You never know. <laughs> um Anyway, what if I get, what if I hit 100,000 subscribers? <laughs> Probably hit 200,000 subscribers. What if I hit 300,000 subscribers? You never know. And it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> you need your own talk show actually i was offered i was offered to be on a show but i refused it <laughs> because um it was in a different state and they wanted me to come down there i'm like i, I i'm not leaving you know i'm not leaving where i live y'all gotta come to me I was a diva and the whole premises of the show I didn't like it anyway and it would have put me in a different light so I kind of I was like nah this is not for me um they wanted me to interview couples and say why or why it wouldn't work between them um, using astrology or you know tarot cards or something and I'm like um, saying you know predicting things in their relationship and stuff like that uh, and I was like that's I mean that's that's cool but y'all can come to me and film it and then go back there and finish it because I'm not I'm not getting ready and it wasn't even like uh, um, a show that was past, you know, it was just a pilot. I'm like, I'm not moving for no pilot. I'm not flying anywhere for no pilot. And you're going to pay for everything. <laughs> I also did a pilot for a channel that they were trying to shop to Oprah like years ago for uh, some cooking show when I used to um, be in culinary school. So that was many years ago. It didn't get picked up, so. I'm not going to waste my time for a pilot. <laughs> Besides, nowadays, a lot of YouTubers don't really need those kind of things. They can get more exposure online. Like, what's that chick's name? Lily Singh. You know, now she has celebrities on her channel. She has like The Rock, Snoop Dogg. Like what?
But I'm just going to keep doing what I do. Whatever. And like I said to the pick me chicks who think that they're trying to ruin my reputation, all you're doing is putting more, more money in my pockets. Because every time y'all talk about my group, whoever's not in it want to get in it. They come in my inbox. I heard you got a group. I want in. <laughs> so, thank you. I appreciate it. I'll take it. And, oh my gosh. I gotta go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, all this stuff, all these bags on the floor. Get this out the way. Oh, I'm gonna wear my jacket today because it's cold. Nah, it's not that cold. Well, it is, but. I'm too lazy to put it on right now. I'll just take it in the car. <laughs> and I gotta get my purse. I gotta my purse. Ugh. My drinks and my food. Cause I didn't get to eat since I was sitting here doing a video. But I gotta go, y'all. So I will see y'all on the next one. Thank you for sharing your wisdom, Sheila. Oh, you're so welcome. And I would like to also thank the haters for inspiring my videos and keeping money in my pockets.